Hi there, hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be talking about the best basketball shoes for guards right now. Uh, I think it's pretty straightforward. I don't really have much to clarify before we get started. So these are all very guard specific picks. There are a lot of great performers like the LeBron 21, AE1, GT Jump 2, and actually even the GT Hustle 2. New Balance 2A V4, way of weight 10 if we go back even earlier that are just excellent all around shoes or some of them might be better for bigs so yeah this list is for guards uh, i mean the market is dominated by guard shoes and low top shoes it's just the era that we're in now i don't have a joke this time but if you want one uh feminism these are the most recent releases that i made sure are still available as we speak uh, one of my top three picks you definitely did not expect well the newest version just bumped it up all the way to me. And yeah, let's get started. I'll include the best budget shoes for guards too at the end, for those who only consider shoes under 100 bucks. Starting off at number 10, I have the Adi Zero Select 2.0. I had high expectations for this one. They didn't turn out as good, but it is a very typical guard shoe. It has two good things that a lot of guards would need. One is super light. We rarely have an Adidas shoe at this weight. They're about the same as like the curry flow trolls and um, I'm blanking out you name it what's the lightest shoe you've worn recently I'm sure this is around the same or even lighter two I completely forgot the point I was gonna make sorry I just came off a big buffet tonight. Uh, two is perhaps the best part about it the core feel extremely smooth ride your feet stay very low to the ground it transitions well with no stiffness but this shoe has some notable weaknesses to it traction is just all right impact protection is pretty bad i felt like i was landing on a cardboard sometimes most importantly for this to even work you need to go down at least a half size or even a full size down if you have narrow feet otherwise you're gonna have the most adidas experience ever hill slippage to the moon next up this is the shoe that feels the most like a pair of kobe's on this list and that is the converse all-star bb trillion or BB Trillion CX. Um, the CX foam is just all right, pretty much standard in terms of softness and responsiveness. But again, what makes it great for guards is the speed it gives you, along with decent traction to say the least. And in case you're wondering, this is the Shea Gilchrist Alexander shoe. Um, his all-star pair has released too. They come in a really cool mismatch colorway, kind of like the Nike What Does, but the materials are different from his PE, just match on the retail pair. Yeah, I personally love these. Lightweight, easy to use, Kobe-like. Well, Nike owns Converse, so the way it turned out with the four foot zoom unit is not a surprise. Uh, that lace cover thing is completely useless, by the way. At number eight, I have the Li Ning Speed 10. Um, this one is so minimal and speed driven that I actually think it's only good for guards. Like if you're a heavier dude or a big, you probably should just skip these because the upper is so thin to a point where the containment might be too weak for you. But on the other hand, that's also what makes it good for those who need a shoe that allows you to go at full speed without having to worry about slipping or your feet heating up inside over time. Because again, it is very breathable. Cushion is really good on these with full length boom. And that's what I like about Li Ning and Wave Wade because they can give you their best tech on their like mid-tier or lower price items. Unlike, you know, Nike, uh, where budget is budget. You don't get full and zoom strobo or even zoom air on um, most of their budget shoes. Speed 10 has great traction, works very well even on dusty courts. And yeah, Fred Van Vliet wears these a lot. That's probably the ideal type of players who should give these a look. For me, unfortunately, my super flat feet are like sticking out to the side a little bit too much for my liking, but I can totally see this being one of the best guard shoes out there. Number seven is technically not very specific to guards, but I feel like it should have a place in this category, and that is the KD-16. I quietly got three pairs of these. I think they make some of the best colorways ever, all on this one model. KDs have generally been like a hybrid shoe, good for guards and forwards and bigs. Even in the NBA, you see bigs rocking them all the time. For guards, it is light enough. Traction is good enough. You also get a nice and quick snap off the forefoot. No gimmick, all action. Similar to the KD-15, they'll require some break-in time. But from my experience, 
it's a lot easier to use than the previous version. And superior to the Speed 10, you do get a nice and secure containment. For a lot of people, you might want to go up a half size with these. And yeah, being at number 7 doesn't necessarily mean that it's a worse shoe overall than the ones you see next. But again, for guards only, the KD16 should still at least make it, in my opinion. Great shoe. Coming in at number 6 is none other than the signature shoe of the best shooter of all time. No, it's not the Sabrina one, Curry 11. Can I skip the explanations for this one? Uh, even with the dual density flow or whatever, and a new designer, there wasn't any notable changes from their recent Currys. You could argue that any of the Curry flow trolls should have been on here too. Same deal. Amazing core feel, they really maximize that running shoe DNA into these. Traction with the flow also has been very consistent. Yeah, we just can't have a list of best guard shoes without mentioning the Currys. Moving into the top five now, I think you have a good sense of the criteria because we are going by position and playing style here. If it's just best overall, that's going to be an endless list. But at number five is probably a surprise or maybe you didn't think it would be this high. And also it's the only budget shoe on this list and that is the GT Cut Academy. So what bumps this $95 shoe into the top five is the traction performance. The GT Cut Academy and AG4, these two are probably my picks for the best of the best traction of all shoes, especially on a very dusty core too. The grip is absolutely insane and I've never experienced any bit of slipping. Loud and squeaky too. Adding to the fact that it's super light, the materials are not too soft or cheap. And remember I said Nike doesn't really give us anything on their budget shoes. This might be that one exception because there is a four foot zoom unit too. So better than average cushion at this price point. And with the Academy, let's bring up the next shoe because I have the GT Cut 3 at number four. Um, having these two so close on the list, I meant to show that the budget version is really worth every dollar. But to say that it's better than the GT Cut 3, that's not true because Zoom X is unmatched. The overall comfort level is much better too. Wait, these two are actually about the same, both light enough for guards. For sure. You're gonna have better materials with the premium version. More responsiveness and bounciness. The also of the GT Cut 3 does pick up more dust than the Academy. So picking between these two, it really depends on what's more important to you. Trash and Academy. Cushion and comfort go with the big brother. Also it depends on your budget obviously. I mean $190 is pretty nasty. It's exactly double the price of the Academy. So yeah. And number three, here's the big surprise or maybe not a surprise, and it is technically a much older shoe. But the newest version made all the difference, and that is the Curry 4 Floatrol. A Curry 4 high top Floatrol, I should say. Before this suit and tie colorway with a leather upper, the previous release about two years ago, I thought everything was good, except that upper is way too soft to provide enough support or hold your feet in position properly. With the excellent traction, it felt like the flow also got you to a hard stop first, but the upper couldn't catch up on lateral movements. So your feet are protruding out like crazy. Well, at least that's from my experience. Having this leather upper, that issue was now resolved and weight was not sacrificed. It's still super light, Movements in all directions felt fluent. That nice curve shape also helps. So yeah, this specific colorway of the Curry 4 Floatrol, I think is a huge upgrade. And now it is one of the best guard shoes available. Okay, a second place, I feel like I've been bringing this up quite a lot in my recent videos. So I'll keep it short. The Anta Shockwave 5 Pro, with this being the shoe that Kyrie wore all the time before his Kai One, they did not disappoint by a bit. Minimal dust pickup, cushion is up to the standard, amazing step in comfort, and didn't even need any break in tech. My only problem experienced is a little bit of heel slippage, but like I said in the update video, you can solve it by getting like a heel cushion pad uh, just as a stuffer or fill in at the back there. Of course, these are also extremely lightweight for faster movements and change of directions. The speed is up there as well. My pick for the number one best shoe for guards, um, these guys, the previous two versions were already great, but this model became even more ideal for guards. That is the All City 12 from Wave Weight. 
I have two points to make here. One, they became lighter compared to the All City 11 and All City 11 V2 in the same size. But with the TPU carrier and full length boom, it's also not too light or minimal. Impact protection is adequate. Traction isn't elite, but I haven't had any problems with it and it gets better over time. Two, the reason I have it on top, hey, I remember this time, because most guard shoes typically give you great speed and ventilation, but sometimes it comes at the expense of the upper being a little bit too soft to hold up well. But the All City 12 material saw an improvement from the 11 in terms of sturdiness. Yeah, if you'd like to see an update video on this shoe, please let me know. In my opinion, the best guard shoe goes to the All City 12. The silver DNA colorway is now available on their official site. That one looks amazing. Five best budget shoes, I would say, are the GDK Academy, of course, Curry Splash 24, Giannis Immortality 3, Dame Certified 2, Son of Shy 3.0. AG4, I don't really consider it a guard shoe. It is the best overall at 100 bucks. So gotta mention that, of course. So those are my top 10 picks for guards as of now. Again, there's so many more excellent performers and you can also just go with the best overall. And my top 10 overall from last year, I'll put up a link to it. When I was referring to guards, I obviously was thinking about the fast, shifty, lots of running types of playing styles instead of like, I don't know, Ben Simmons or Mr. 40K himself has started a point sometimes. Anyways, let me know your picks in the comments. Uh, feel free to share your experience playing with any of these so we can have more perspective. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.